But the game today is not top of mind for a lot of fans. The big question is, where are the A's going to play before they make their eventual move to Las Vegas, Max? This is a question everybody's had for a while. The, now the question is, where will they go when their lease at the Coliseum ends after this season? Now a day after meeting with Oakland and Alameda County officials to discuss an extension, the A's are going to try their luck in Sacramento. A's top leaders are set to visit Sutter Health Park today. This is now the second time the A's have visited California's capital. Sacramento's mayor says he sincerely hopes the A's can stay in Oakland, but the next best, next best option is Sacramento. We're still waiting to hear details of what their offer could look like or what it would cost the A's to play there. This comes after no deal was reached yesterday between the A's and Oakland to extend their current lease. In a statement, the organization said they are far apart on terms. The city proposed a five-year, $97 million deal to stay through 2029 with an opt-out option after three years. That comes out to about $19.5 million a year, which is comparably higher than what they're paying right now, which is $1.5 million. As for the potential permanent home in 2028, Las Vegas Tropicana Casino Resort officially closed its doors yesterday to make room for the A's new ballpark. For nearly seven decades, the hotel welcomed guests and celebrities like Elizabeth Taylor, Frank Sinatra, and Sammy Davis Jr. Demolition is scheduled for October. Athletics owner John Fisher and his entourage quietly entered a car and got on the road after a tour of Sutter Health Park. A surprise to fans like Ray, nicknamed Dr. Death in Bay Area Sports, who's a West Sacramento native. And I was just told, I think John Fisher is down the street. I think Dave Cavill's down the street. Ray is a diehard A's fan and has followed the saga of the team's move out of Oakland very closely. He was so willing to meet with the fans when it was all nice for them. But when it comes to face the fire and ask and answer our questions, they're nowhere to be found. But region leaders believe differently. Greater Sacramento Economic Council leader Barry Broom has told CBS 13 in the past on record he would support the A's moving to the city. GSEC had no comment regarding the meeting today and wouldn't confirm if Broom was present. The city of West Sacramento told CBS 13 in a statement, quote, We are closely monitoring the possibility of the A's playing their home games in West Sacramento. City manager Aaron Laurel went on to say the city is prepared to work with both the A's and Giants to help make this arrangement a win for the teams, their fans, and West Sacramento residents and businesses. For fans like Ray, they see casual fans being in favor. That's, that ballpark will be filled up with those casual, nonchalant fans, but I guarantee you those hardcore A's fans will be out here in full force opposing in our green cell shirt to sell the team. But those who believe in the A's in Oakland and the Kings in Sacramento, he says, won't be. If that's what Major League Baseball wants of just us casual fans and disregard these diehard fans that have been with you for all these years, I mean, have at it. I believe that the city should not back down. And if the A's don't want to work with them, then they need to leave. We can't just sit here with no franchise, no baseball. Um, it would be devastating to our community. We will support the team when John Fisher sells it to a local ownership group, preferably an African-American owned ownership group, and revitalize this whole area. And unfortunately, there's a lot more going on with the A's than just that sad and bitter defeat, and mainly it's what's going on with their Las Vegas move, Max. And Nicole, a lot of questions still up in the air. People would like to see answers. The A's in the city of Oakland, they are still working out if they'll extend their lease before the team makes it official in Las Vegas. These right here are the renderings of that new $1.5 billion ballpark at the site of the Tropicana, Cas Tropicana Casino Resort. The A's, they have already made some headway into investing in the new park, like hiring the same company that the Raiders use to oversee ticket and suite sales. They're hoping to have the park ready for baseball by the 2028 season. As for the future of the Tropicana, they've come to terms with the whole A's move. And in fact, the hotel is closing its doors for good this afternoon. It will eventually be demolished to make way for the 30,000-seat stadium. But there is a more immediate question. Until 2028, where will the A's play? Oakland's lease with the Coliseum ends after this season, and the A's have already met officials to extend that lease. 
but no deal has formally been announced yet. Another meeting is set for today, and as our Lauren Toms tells us, there's already a proposed extension on the table. A's fans today are torn over the team's departure finally becoming a reality, but a high stakes meeting between city officials and the team could shed new light on that departure. I think they need to negotiate something that's a little more agreeable. There has to be a little give and take. I mean, there has to be something where we're not just left hang, hung out to dry. Now, the team is also rumored to be in talks with Salt Lake City in Sacramento as a temporary home for the next few seasons as they wait for their new Vegas stadium. But politics are at play as well as Oakland Mayor Shang Tao faces a recall vote and a significant city deficit of $360 million that officials are trying to dampen with this agreement. But A's fans, in the meantime, waiting for questions of whether this could be the A's last season here in Oakland. And thank you to Lauren Toms for the latest there. You know, it's so difficult because if you're rooted in Oakland, then you likely grew up as a Raiders fan and an A's fan. And so you've been down this road before. You have friends that are there. Not once, now twice. Mm -hmm. I reached out to one of them this morning. He finally woke up and got back to me. <laughs> and, and he said, uh, you know, I asked him, do you want to see the A's stick around until 2028? Sure. When they eventually do move out to Las Vegas. And he just said no. Yeah. Said I'd like to see him go. That would be a really interesting social media poll because I would yeah. feel as an A's fan that you want to see them for the next couple of years, just finish it so you can just say goodbye to your team. But other people are like, look, this is a divorce. This is over. I'm cutting ties and I'm getting out the door. And I don't think you'll see him buying a Las Vegas A's t-shirt, jersey, hat, sure. anything. You see that with a lot of Raiders fans as well. Yeah. Well, for continuing coverage on the A's and their potential move to Vegas, stay with us on air on our website, kpix.com, and streaming on our CBS News Bay Area app. As the first pitch was thrown out, these dedicated A's fans took part in the block party tailgate to protest the team's plans to relocate to Las Vegas. There were DJs, live bands, and even a down the clown carnival game. I think it's half a uh, celebration and maybe half the beginning of a funeral, right? A, a long goodbye. But there were fans that could not resist being back at the ballpark. This isn't a typical opening day crowd, but fans rooted for their team and kids got to see their favorite mascot, Stomper. Unfortunately, John Fisher is who he is, but I love the players. I love Oakland A's baseball, and I'm going to be here until they're gone. For good. This is roughly Brandon's 20th time attending the home opener, a tradition that will end with him. It's sad that I won't be able to bring my kid to the Coliseum. That's always something I always wish I could do, but, um, you know, they'll never get to appreciate the excuse my language, the hole that the Coliseum is, but it's, it's our hole, and that's why it's so great. While there was a somber feeling throughout the night, the Moran family brought the party to the parking lot. There's three holidays, uh, Christmas, Thanksgiving, and this. and this. The Morans are hoping the A's relocation will mean more dollars so John Fisher can afford better players. You know, if we're going to move, 
let's just do it, right? Like decide of it. Let's let's get feel the good team when you have a new stadium and everything else. If it's not working here, it's time to move on. And while one opening day tradition will end, another will begin. So if it's Vegas, you guys can do opening day there. Right? Yeah. 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 But there are fans that say their love for baseball will end here in Oakland. Keep the A's in Oakland. Stay in Oakland. Sell the team.